Good morning, Michael here, and today's devotion is coming from Romans 8 verse 32, and for context, we're going to read verse 31 down to 39, verse 31 from Romans 8. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, as it is written, for thy sake we are all, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so as we look at the, the commentary from the Spurgeon Archives, he subtitles it, He Freely Gives. And as I said, it's verse 32 that he uses. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also give? Freely give us all things. And so he expounds. If this is not a promise in form, it is in fact. Indeed, it is more than one promise. It is a conglomerate of promises. It is a mass of rubies and emeralds and diamonds with a nugget of gold for their setting. It is a question which can never be answered so as to cause us any anxiety of heart. What can the Lord deny us after giving us Jesus? If we need all things in heaven and earth, he will grant them to us. For if there had been a limit anywhere, he would have kept back his own son. What do I want today? I have only to ask for it. I may seek earnestly, but not as if I had to use pressure and extort an unwilling gift from the Lord's hand. For he will give freely. Of his own, he gave his own son. Certainly no one would have proposed such a gift to him. No one, no one would have ventured to ask for it. It would have been too presumptuous. He freely gave his only begotten. And, O oh, my soul, canst thou not trust thy heavenly Father to give thee anything, to give thee everything? Thy poor prayer would have no force with omnipotence if force were needed. But his love, like a spring, rises of itself and overflows for the supply of all thy needs. Wow. Ain't that the truth? Lord, I thank you. For every good gift. I thank you, Lord, for every precious promise. And I thank you, God, that you are not a man that would lie, but my Heavenly Father, God, Lord of all. God be praised. Trust you enjoy that rich word from Romans. This is Michael here declaring, Jesus is Lord.
Until next time, read some romance. Eh? Thank you, Lord. Bye now.